In this video, I'll show you how to verify that the center of a circle lies on the right bisector of a chord. Shown here is a circle with an unknown radius, and we are expected to answer these three questions. The first one, verify that the center of the circle lies on the right bisector of the chord P and Q. So, we have to show that the right bisector, which is the line that extends from the midpoint of this chord, lies at the center of this circle, which appears to be at 0 and 0. In question B, it says, what is the radius of the circle? And since it has a center at 0 and 0, we can easily use the formula R is equal to x squared plus y squared and substitute one of the points that you have. And lastly, how can you show that the points P and Q actually lie uh, at the uh, center of 0 and 0? So let's start with A. And the first thing that I will do is find the slope of P and Q. And we're expecting to have a positive slope given that it is going upwards. And we're going to call this point 1 and point 2. Therefore, this will be x1, y1, x2, y2. The slope formula is y is equal to m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And our y2 point is 5 minus 3. And our x2 is 3 minus negative 5. 5 minus 3 is 2. And 3 plus 5 is 8 giving us a slope of a quarter. The right bisector will lie at the middle of this point. So now we are, we're going to find the midpoint. The midpoint formula is m is equal to x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. I'm going to fill this in. If I do that, I end up with negative 5 plus 3 over 2 and y1 is 3 plus 5 over 2 and this simplifies to negative 2 over 2 is negative 1 and 3 plus 5 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 and that means that this point right here will represent your m next what we will do is find the equation that represents the point from m to the center. And the reason why we're doing this is that by finding the equation for this line, we can prove that the y-intercept is in fact at 0 and 0 and that would ensure that it does, in fact, lie on the, uh, the bisector of chord PQ. So the slope of this line here will be the negative reciprocal of the slope of P and Q, because the right bisector always lies at 90 degrees. The slope we found for P and Q was 1 over 4. We're going to flip the 4 and the 1 and negate the term, and we end up with negative 4. So the slope of this line will be negative 4, and let's start off by creating a equation for a line. y is equal to mx plus b. The slope is negative 4x plus b is equal to y. Next, we want to find our y-intercept, and if our y-intercept is 0, which it appears to be so, then it proves, it verifies A. So we'll use a point M that we know is negative 1 and 4. And I'm going to substitute x and y into my formula to find out my y-intercept. 4 is equal to negative 4 times negative 1 plus b. 4 is equal to positive 4 plus b. Bring the 4 over, you end up with 4 minus 4, and we end up with a b value of 0. So we end up with y is equal to 
negative 4x plus 0. And that is the equation that represents the bisector. Now, given that the y-intercept is 0 and the center is at 0 and 0 visibly, that verifies question A. The next question asks, what is the radius of this circle? Now, since we just verified that the center is at 0 and 0, we can use the formula that I stated earlier. R is equal to this. Now, we can use either P or Q, the coordinates, to substitute it in. I'm going to use this one, negative 5 squared plus 3 squared, and the whole thing square rooted. We end up with 25 plus 9 the square root of that is 34. And just to make sure, the square root of 34 is slightly less than 6. And that appears to be so in this graph, 5.83. And in the last question, we are asked how can you show that the point P and Q lie on a circle with its center at 0 and 0? Now, what you can do in a situation like this is find the distance from this point to this point and the distance from this point to this point. And if the distance is equal to 5.83, then you have shown that P and Q lie at a circle with the center 0 and 0. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.